I'm standing outside the county's downtown courthouse. Construction on this building began over a hundred years ago, and the building was completed in 1914, when the county had only 250,000 residents. Today, more than three times that many people live in Multnomah County. This is a busy building, and like any building that's a century old, our community's courthouse has developed some serious safety problems that can no longer be deferred. The time has come for us to find a solution. We need a safe and functional courthouse for the people who work here and for all of us who are required to be here, like when we get called for jury duty. But before we talk about what to do with the building, let's have facilities manager Mike Crank take us inside the courthouse to show us the many serious problems facing the county's oldest facility. We work hard every day to keep this building up and running, but it's undeniable the courthouse is operationally and functionally obsolete. Most of the systems in this building have outlived their useful life. What you're looking at here is one clear example of how obsolete parts of this building are. These are unreinforced masonry walls. We know that's a big problem because the Federal Emergency Management Agency has given this building a ranking of poor because of those walls. The bottom line is we know those walls don't meet current seismic code. And even though we know that's a huge safety problem, we can't do anything about it in this building as it now stands. Anytime we have any kind of an event or there is an earthquake any place in the world, it again brings up for people the fact that we are in a vulnerable building. Um, it's somewhat morbid, but uh, judges sometimes joke when we choose courtrooms, um, well, should you be on the seventh floor or should you be on the second floor? Which is going to be safer? Uh, if the earthquake comes. If you have a lawsuit, if you have a dispute, if you have a criminal case, if you're a victim, if you're a juror, we require that you come here. Um, there isn't another, an alternative way of people doing business when they have matters that need to come uh, before a judge to be resolved. The configuration of this courthouse means at times its limits create other serious safety concerns for the men and women who work here. Uh, you can ride in the elevator uh, when the jail elevator is broken and have a judge, uh, the person they've sentenced who's in custody, a victim, witnesses, all in the same elevator, which f can at times um, create difficult situations. As you walk around, you are likely to be walking down the hall and uh, hear the clinking of somebody who is in custody and being brought uh, chained up by deputies uh, to a courtroom. So there are significant safety factors in terms of having the public corridors be the same corridors where prisoners are um, uh, transported from uh, jail to a courtroom. Uh, in those same halls there may be the victim of a case who is sitting and waiting. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about our community's courthouse. I think that you'll agree that this building has outlived its usefulness. There are too many safety problems that can no longer be papered over. This building wasn't built a hundred years ago to handle the needs of a community that's nearly tripled to almost three quarters of a million people. Fortunately, the county now has a very comprehensive report that thoroughly analyzes the potential options for the future of the courthouse. Here's Commissioner Judy Shiprack to talk about those options. As you've just seen, Multnomah County is in urgent need of a new downtown courthouse. Make no mistake about it, this task, while necessary, is also expensive and complex. I have no doubt that working together with an engaged community of partners, we will succeed. This is not a problem that we can defer for others to solve for us. Multnomah County needs a safe, functional courthouse to conduct the business of justice. And I am confident that working together, we will accomplish this task.